this is kind of a fun part of your night. Um, you know, we always like to celebrate um, things that happen in our schools, and so tonight's a wonderful opportunity uh, to celebrate our uh, champions for children, and our principals are all here. And so I'd like to start with our elementary principals and um, invite uh, them up and um, to uh, introduce their champion uh, from their school. So I suppose they want me to um, start with, um, who's the youngest of those principals? Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't have any idea, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let Michelle, Mich oh, is it Michelle? Oh, maybe, maybe it's Katie. Katie. So um, Mrs. Capardi, you want to join us? And I didn't, I didn't mean youngest students, I meant youngest. It is my pleasure to introduce Jenny Fennelly as the Millbrook School 2022 Champion for Children. Jenny has been a member of the Millbrook community in a variety of ways. As a parent, a special education administrative assistant, and currently as our family literacy facilitator. However, tonight I'm here to talk about the ways that Jenny supports our community that go far beyond her work. To know Jenny is to know the meaning of the word welcoming. And through her work, she is the first face many of our families get to know. Jenny give it, gives endlessly of her time and energy to help with many events and initiatives at Millbrook School. A few summers ago, we decided to launch a Literacy on the Lawn series. Jenny worked tire tirelessly to help get the project off the ground and gave freely of her time in the summer to attend the series and work with students and families. It was easy to see how much students and families are connected with her when we were out in the community. As we walked around Keach Park, students ran up to greet her with big This is just one small example of how the spirit of her work infuses the community around her. Over the past few years, Millbrook School has endured some significant hardships. Through these difficult times, one person was a cornerstone for our school community, for students, families, and staff. Everyone knew they could turn to Jenny for a shoulder to lean on, a resource to help the families affected, or consistency as students returned to school. Jenny made sure to meet students at the door and have breakfast them, with them as they returned after these times of sorrow. She visited families in the evenings and on weekends, delivering care packages, sitting with families through their grief, and connecting with our students. The compassion, understanding, and kindness she shows for families was evident during these trying times. Jenny is truly a champion for children always working to do better and more for our students and families. She is quiet and humble in the work she does, but that work is widespread. It is the, as though she sends out these ripples of kindness that can be felt throughout our community. On behalf of the students, staff, and families of Millbrook, we would like to honor and thank Jenny for her ongoing dedication and support to our school community. Congratulations and thank you, Jenny. Thank you, and congratulations, and thank you very much. Superintendent, who's next? Um, who's I don't next? know. I, I don't know, know who. How old all I don't these know, folks but are? But I'm going to ask um, <laughs> Mrs. Vance, principal at Beaver Meadow, to come on up. Good evening. I'm very proud to be standing next to Faith Watts, and it is with great pleasure tonight that I nominate. Faith Watts is our 2022 champion for children at Beaver Meadow School. Faith has dedicated her time and her efforts to enrich the quality of our students' lives. Over the past six years, Faith has been our Pat's Peak Ski Program Coordinator. During this time, Faith has overseen the program and the enrollment has doubled. She's responsible for making sure all of the students are transported to and from the mountain. At Beaver, and this even happened during COVID. She connects with family members each week to coordinate safe transportation, and her SUV is usually full of smiling students, very excited about skiing and snowboarding. The ski program provides our students with the opportunity to learn something new. Students are given high quality ski and snowboard lessons from trained professionals at a very young age. Students are also able to socialize with old friends and new friends who are part of the program. This program gets our students outside during the winter and gives them another outlet to be active and creative during the cold season. 
very cold season. This program allows certain students to shine where they may struggle in some of our academic areas. Students may also ski or snowboard after their lesson with groups of friends or chaperones, giving them responsibility and independence. I spoke with a few of our students who have been part of this program and asked them how it has impacted their lives. And here are a couple of their quotes from our participants. This program is awesome because it has taught me how to ski and I have made new friends. I have made special memories from the ski program, like the giant chocolate chip cookie, <laughs> and going down the mountain for the very first time. It was scary, but it was worth it once I did it. Students shared with me how their confidence has grown and how fun the jumps are. On a few occasions over the years, I've actually had the chance to drive up to Pat's Peak and ski with the students. And every time I have gone, I have witnessed joy and love to hear students yelling out, Mrs. Vance, Mrs. Vance, watch me, watch me, watch me, or can we ski together? These heartfelt moments have positively impacted the lives of our students in this program. Our PE teacher, Mr. Parsons, he has also driven up numerous times to join in on the fun, and he has shared this quote with me. Faith has done a phenomenal job running our ski program. Her dedication to the children's learning and safety is distinguished. We are lucky to have someone like her in our school community. I'm delighted tonight to recognize Faith for this honor as she has significantly enriched the quality of our students at Beaver Meadow School. So I'm going to introduce you tonight. Come on up. Come on. Both of you. Come on. <laughs> I'm introducing you to Carol Conti. Carol Conti has been educational assistant for the Concord School District for the past 22 years. She began at Rumford School, continued her work at Conan School, and is now at Abbott Downing School. Carol has always seen the potential in every student. She has passionately advocated for equitable education for all children, especially those she has worked with directly. Carol has always gone above and beyond for her students. Here are just a few examples of Carol's dedication to our students. And these are from some of your colleagues. <laughs> Carol is honestly one of the sweetest and most thoughtful people I know. She has worked with many of our students over the years. She is wonderful with all kids. <laughs> Might have to cut this shorter. <laughs> the fact, the fact that, and this is this is a pretty neat story that I learned about Carol. This was before my t time there. Um, I'm good at this. <laughs> This teacher wrote, my first real glimpse of this was when she worked with a student. The fact that she taught herself Braille and adapted everything for her to Braille was incredible. She was, she was never asked to do that. She just did it on her own because that's what she felt the student needed. Carol has spent a small fortune of her own money over the years at the craft store. I have always offered to get things for her, but she would never take any money. She is so creative and would take a unit or lesson and adapt it in the most interesting and engaging way. It's only one colleague. I got a couple more for you. <laughs> Carol is one of the most caring and compassionate people I know. She has always been an amazing advocate for the students she has worked with over the years, spending long hours of her own time and her own money working on adapting lesson plans and fun activities for them, not only for the students she worked directly, but also making sure she includes all the students in the class. Her dedication to her students and their care is admirable, a very generous individual. If there is a need, she is on it, and there's a way to help out with whatever is needed. And then a third colleague, and there were many more, but we had to keep this short. <laughs> Good idea, though. <laughs> I have never met a more positive and selfless person. She dedicates her enthusiasm and talents to make others feel good. Some of the qualities, generous to others, understanding of colleagues' needs, uses humor to laugh off the little things in life, quick to compromise and put others before herself. She's a ray of sunshine. These are just a few examples of what many people will tell you about Carol. 
She'll be retiring at the end of this year, and to say she'll be missed is an understatement. Carol embodies the idea that public education is public good for all children. She is looked upon as a leader with her colleagues and has inspired others. Carol's humor, smile, passion, and selflessness is something we could all aspire to. Carol Conti is Abbott Downing's champion for children. And, and now I'd like to ask Mrs. Gallo, Chris Gallo, to come up and join us. This is Pam Block. Hi, Pam. Hi, Pam. Hi, Pam. <laughs> Intelligent, affable, nurturing, compassionate, and personable are the characteristics that immediately come to my mind about our champion, Pam Block. Pam retired from Krista McAuliffe School last year after numerous years of selfless service to the students of Concord and beyond. When we met Pam, she had already wrapped up a couple different careers, and she was eager to tackle more. Pam first studied for a year in London, then became a professional chef for about 15 years. She was also the director of catering at the Baltimore Culinary Institute. So we are all clearly hoping that Pam will cook dinner for us soon at school. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> After having children, Pam's attention turned to child development. She began working in preschools and discovered that she really enjoyed working with young children. She returned to school to earn her teaching certification and then became a classroom teacher. She taught in first through fourth grades for 20 years in Vermont. She was one of the first educators to implement a multi-aged classroom grades. And then she retired. That was retirement number one. <laughs> Pam moved to Concord from Vermont and realized that she wasn't finished working with children. She sought out a Title I tutor position at Abbott Downing School, and she tutored there for three years, and then she retired again. Retirement number two. Feeling the itch to stay connected with children, Pam again sought out a Title I tutor position, this time at Krista McAuliffe School. She tutored during half the 2019-2020 school year and then all of last school year. She could often be seen at her station in our cafeteria with one student present and one or more students remoting in through her laptop for reading services. This model certainly stretched her comfortable limits of technology. It was a challenging balancing act for sure. Then she retired over the summer, retirement number three. And yes, you guessed it, Pam had a difficult time staying away from working with kids. <laughs> so this school year, She's been volunteering her time at CMS. Pam continues to enjoy her work, meeting with book groups in our fourth grade. And in between those work days, she puts on her skis or her hiking gear and enjoys extensive travel. Pam is skilled at using her travel experiences to help hook students into books. Students wanted to be part of Pam's celebration tonight, so we asked them to share how they feel about their time with Pam. These are their thoughts. Mrs. Block makes us feel comfortable sharing in group. She listens and we're able to share our opinions and our thinking about the books we're reading. She's really, really nice. <laughs> she is encouraging and helps us to figure out tricky words and what they mean. <laughs> she helps us with writing when we write about the books we're reading. She teaches us how to talk about the characters that change in the book and how to understand what we're reading. She helps me focus. <laughs> she is very patient, and she knows that we are good readers. The staff at CMS has greatly appreciated and respected Pam's work over the last few years. We are grateful for her altruism and genuine care for her students and colleagues. For these reasons, Pam Block is our champion for children. Respectfully, the Chris McAuliffe staff. <laughs> Um, Susan Losey from Broken Ground. Come on up, Susan. <laughs> I'll pay for that tomorrow. <laughs> well, I appreciate being able to be here tonight. Our champion for children is not able to be here, but she's wonderful, and I wanted to share with all of you a little bit about her. 
and we will make sure that she gets to see this as well. Oh, I'm going to need my glasses. Wonder Woman, Catwoman, Batgirl. All superheroes for sure. But at BGS, our favorite superhero is Jenny Johnson. She has the superhuman powers of being incredibly flexible, creative, and able to juggle multiple tasks all at the same time. Jenny worked at Broken Ground as a permanent sub for four and a half years, but volunteered her time above and beyond these hours to serve our students, support our staff, and to make sure our families' needs were addressed. This past year, Jenny volunteered weekly to support the art program as well as the 21C program in so many ways. For example, she organized a paper closet to hold not only our paper supplies, but also the dress clothes being donated for the 21C Gentlemen's Group. This was no easy task, but with her outstanding organizational skills and her knack for creativity, the job was completed in record time. She also facilitated the original works art fundraiser for our school and helped with the art displays being set up in the building. Jenny is so talented artistically that when a challenge is presented, she develops a vision and sees the task through to its completion. Last December, we wanted to continue the tradition of the holiday dinner for our students at Broken Nations this year for the social distancing needed in order to pull this off during the pandemic. We decided to have two dining rooms, one in the cafeteria and one in the gym. In the past, students had supplied decorations for their tables that came from home. But this year we had all the students make placemats, but we wanted to have festive centerpieces on all 25 tables needed to serve each grade. Enter Jenny. She designed super cute gnomes in winter themes and had them ready for the holiday dinner in a flash. Students were absolutely enthralled when they walked into those areas with the beautiful lights and all and saw the tables that were ready for them as they gathered by grade levels to have the holiday meal with their teachers and support staff. Jenny is one of those compassionate and caring people who volunteered to be on site on the days when we offered food pickups at school. Her sense of humor, fun, as well as her friendly demeanor made her such a positive difference as the families came seeking support. Jenny's always been conscientious and generous with her time and has always been willing to participate in any of the Broken Ground School wide initiatives to build school spirit and to support our families. Jenny is one of those can-do people who hears about a need in her school and volunteers her time and her talents to support the program. Although we all miss seeing Jenny every day at Broken Ground, her continued commitment to supporting our school and the students makes her a true champion for children and an inspiration for us all. We thank you, Jenny, for all your superhero powers. Thank you. Please pass on our thanks to Jenny. We wish she could have been here with us but we really appreciate all that she's done. Um, unfortunately, Mrs. Fitzgerald can't be with us tonight, but Sean White is here uh, to present the award. Good evening. Um, yes, Mrs. Fitzgerald uh, deeply regrets that she couldn't be here to celebrate tonight. Uh, but it is my honor and my privilege to share in this celebration, which I'm grateful for. This is beautiful. Um, I stand here beside Kathy Kitchell. I'm going to tell you a little bit about her. Um, Kathy Kitchell is an educational li liaison for Accenture Care Services. She started working at RMS the same year that Mrs. Fitzgerald did, 2018. During that time, we have all seen the passion and energy that Kathy brings to her job, working with our new Americans. When the time came for us to nominate someone for this award, someone who embodies through action the beliefs in the NHSAA Champions for Children policy. There was not a minute's hesitation. We knew we had to nominate Kathy. She was a logical choice. After reading and hearing this, we think you'll agree. Kathy is a tireless advocate for both new American children and their families. She understands the value of the home to school connection, and she also understands how complicated this connection can be. She helps families navigate the school system in America, their new home. 
Just imagine being in a new country and having to figure out the annual registration process, or how to get immunization records, or learning how to communicate with teachers. Kathy helps with all of this and so much more. Here are some of the things that we know about Kathy. Kathy transports children and their parents to and from school and activities. She helps children sign up for sports, whether they are students in our ELL program or not. Kathy finds a way to get scholarships for kids to go to fantastic summer camps. Difficult situations and emotions. Kathy is frequently seen in the halls walking with a struggling student who needs a walk and talk. She also helps parents understand when their children are struggling in school. She will pick up parents and bring them to school for meetings. She attends those meetings, helps with the language line, and helps bridge the gap between school and home. Kathy helps navig parents navigate the medical system for their children and themselves. She connects children and families with mental health supports when the need arises. Kathy is a trusted adult for so many new American kids. Often the first question heard when kids come in the door of our ELL classroom is, is Miss Kitchell here? They may have a problem or sometimes they just want to say hi. Kathy is always willing to jump in and help support our staff too. She helps us understand the different cultures from which our students come. Kathy offers advice and suggestions and helps everyone succeed, students and staff alike. We know that Kathy often sends Ms. Fitzgerald book suggestions, articles, and other information that help support our new American students. Kathy was a huge help through the pandemic. She brought Chromebooks to students, helped families with access to testing and vaccination clinics. And finally, Kathy never, ever stops considering different possibilities to solve problems. Ms. Fitzgerald has had the privilege of sitting in meetings with Kathy, and as they unpack a problem, Kathy is the first one to ask, what if we try, insert brilliant solution here? <laughs> RMS and, RMS and SAU8 are so fortunate to have someone who goes above and beyond to help one of our most vulnerable populations of students. Kathy Kitchell, you are the embodiment of a champion for children. Thank you, Kathy. Congratulations. Yeah, I can't even introduce him. He's already standing up, going to the podium. Um, I'm pleased Mr. Reardon is here to um, uh, share his champions. I suspect that's plural um, at the high school. First, I want to let John know that he's not getting any flowers to <laughs> 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 I also want to acknowledge that uh, Gabe Cohen and, and Clint Close actually wrote this letter because uh, John um, works with them very closely. We write this letter in full support of John Haytab as a recipient of this year's Champion for Children at Concord High School. John started as a CHS drama club. For the past 10 years, he has designed, built, and painted set pieces for every drama club production at CHS. John does more than just build sets and props for CHS productions. He is also passionate, creative, organized, and talented. He is a calm backstage and onstage presence for students involved in CHS productions. He listens to students and helps them remain calm during stressful situations. He helps teach students how to stay organized before, during, and after productions. He encourages, encourages students to perform and participate at their very best. Many students look forward to working on set and painting crews with him and look forward to seeing John around Concord. John's attention to detail is impeccable and he works with students to help them see the importance of detail when building a set of props, a set or props. He talks with them about organizing it by asking the big questions such as, what materials do we need? What can we repurpose? What needs to be built? What needs to be thrown away? He always has time to speak with students about an exciting or innovative idea that will help a CHS performance stand out. If you ever have, if you have ever had the opportunity to speak with John about his work with our students, you will immediately feel his passion 
and love for the performing arts and teaching students about it. John continues to be an unsung hero for the CHS Drama Club. Not only does he design, purchase, organize, acquire, create, and paint numerous set pieces and props for our drama club, he is always willing to stop and teach a student or help a colleague. John's heart is as big as his passion and personality. Tonight we are asking him to step into the limelight and be recognized as a true champion and hero for CHS, performing arts and for Concord High School. He's a proud father, husband, friend, colleague, teacher, and is a wonderful, kind human being. Tonight we say how proud we are of him for the countless hours and honorable work ethic he continues to display for all of us to observe. Congratulations to our champion for children, yes. John Hayden. <laughs> Um, Mr. Reardon, if I can speak on behalf of Dr. Jeremy Brooks, um, because 20 something, we'll just go with 20 something, right? 20 something. About 24 <laughs> years ago, Jeremy hired me to the Concord School District. Um, he and Rob Prohl interviewed me upstairs, um, and I was this young teacher from New York thinking I knew it all and I was going to be able to take Concord, New Hampshire by storm and little did I know that Concord had a lot in store for me. Um, and what Jeremy didn't know was that he and Rob Prohl were talking about me in the room next to where I was sitting while I was waiting to see if I was getting the job and they had every reason like, well, what do we do? She's never been here before. She's from New York. What do we do? And I can hear them talking about me. <laughs> 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 and so um, he was part of bringing me to Concord School District, so I am very thankful for, to him for that. I am thankful to all of you for, for letting Jeremy stay for all these years. He's an invaluable resource. Um, so one definition of champion is a person who fights or speaks for another person or in favor of a cause. When working with children who have special education needs, which involve social, emotional, and mental health concerns, we can't, ha we can't have enough people that fit this description. For over 20 years, this Concord School District has been extremely fortunate to have the expertise, guidance, and support of Dr. Jeremy Brooks. Dr. Brooks is a psychologist based out of Newburyport, Massachusetts, where he specializes in psychological testing and counseling. However, every Wednesday, he travels the 60 miles to Concord, New Hampshire, to assist our teams in assessing and developing program recommendations for some of our struggling, most vulnerable learners. Additionally, and just as important, he always starts the process by connecting with the families of our students. Dr. Brooks stresses the importance of looking at the whole child, who that child is at home, who that child is in school, who that child is in the community. He has an innate ability to listen to our concerns about students and know exactly what questions to ask next. He communicates what he understands about a child with a sharp level of specificity. This is extremely useful when the special education team is constructing a mean meaningful IEP which helps everyone working with the child to understand and work with them effectively. He joins with the entire team working with a child by truly getting to know each person and helping them to capitalize on their strengths. He is able to articulate what he understands to the child in language that they can understand and that is meaningful to them. He is able to help parents and guardians to understand their children in new and important ways. At times, the information he has to present can be difficult for children and or their parents and guardians to hear. He is able to present it in a way that is direct yet compassionate. He stays very present when he presents such information, assuring that he is well understood. He is rarely un unable to help children and their families accept the difficult reframe. His approach is warm and candid. He often shares details of his own experiences that helps to normalize what he is presenting. When called upon to assist with program development and recommendations, he brings years of experience from both clinical and school settings. This has helped us in providing a proactive therapeutic approach when developing support plans and changes to programming. These changes have given us the opportunity to assist our students and their families with the answers they have needed. Additionally, these answers provide our school teams with the guidance in implementing the most appropriate academic and social emotional behavioral interventions. Dr. Brooks is a true champion for students and families who may not have had the chance to otherwise been supported. He fights or speaks on their behalf by getting them the answers they need so they are better able to access what the schools have to offer. 
His dedication to the students, their family, and the school teams in Concord is truly valued and appreciated.